the Ender 2 Pro could be the best new 3D printer for under $200. But what could possibly stop it from that title? Let's find out. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So for the past three years, the Ender 3 has been one of the best 3D printers you could get for under $200. But Creality recently released the Ender 2 Pro for $169. I think it might just take the cake. Let's find out why. The Ender 2 Pro is a breeze to set up with only four steps to assemble it. It is gonna be great for beginners, and if you've had a 3D printer before, there's only a total of seven bolts needed to assemble this, so it might be the easiest printer you've ever put together. It's a cantilever design, which means it has one Z-axis, and the X gantry rides straight off of that like this. The extra mounting bracket down here makes sure that it can hold that gantry up and support plenty of weight. The standard Creality hot end makes it easy to work on and upgrade. It has belt tensioners on the X and Y, which makes it super easy to adjust your belt tension. The build surface is magnetic and it allows you to remove prints by flexing the plate and then it just slaps back on for your next print. It has a cool hidden storage in the side there so you can hide all your tools right there. On this side of the case on the bottom hides a 32-bit board with silent drivers. It also has a case fan to exhaust the air and 150 watts of power in a power supply that hides in this side, all conveniently stored right under the printer for that small footprint. One of the coolest things about the Ender 2 Pro is the portability. This handle at the top makes it super easy just to pick the printer up and walk away and take it wherever you're gonna go. But if you're gonna do that, don't forget to take the spool off the spool holder and fold that in to make this thing super compact. It has a great interface, it's very responsive, and if you want, you can pop the screen off quick and easy for travel. All of this looks great on paper, but let's take a quick look at a couple prints I got off the Ender 2 Pro. This is the conical flask in vase mode by Clockspring. It's printed in atomic filament and came out great. This mini gym by Wexter was also printed in that atomic indigo golden sparkle filament and it came out virtually perfect. This might be the best mini gym I've seen off of a stock 3D printer yet. If you're getting value out of this video, please smash that like button. It really helps push the video out to more people just like you. I really appreciate it. Now back to it. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the build area. At 165 by 165 by 180, it's pretty small. But is that a deal breaker? Does that stop the Ender 2 Pro from taking the reins? To put this in perspective, this is the Ender 2 Pro build surface on an Ender 3 build surface. You can see it's definitely smaller. Well, it's really not that bad. Actually, I would say most of the time, I don't print parts that are bigger than this on a normal basis anyway, especially with functional parts. Currently, the Ender 3 is about $189 on Creality's website. It comes as a kit and it'll take you about an hour to build using this video right here. The Ender 2 Pro is currently $169, $20 cheaper, on Creality's website, and from the time you get it out of the box till your first print will be about 15 minutes. Now the Ender 3 is still a very good printer, but with all the features that come on the Ender 2 Pro and the lower price of the Ender 2 Pro, I think it takes some serious consideration that the Ender 2 Pro takes the top spot as the best 3D printer under $200 that you can get today. But Jim, who is the Ender 2 Pro for? Well, I would say this is a great first printer for someone just trying to get into the hobby. It's cheap and prints great right out of the box. Or if you already have another 3D printer, this could be the perfect add-on. The machine to print the little parts while your other printer is printing the big parts. At only $169, it will be the perfect second printer to add to your arsenal. And don't forget the versatility to take this anywhere super easily. I think the Ender 2 has been great to me so far, and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite 3D printers. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Ender 2 Pro, and if you had a printer like this, what would you do with it? Still not sure about the Ender 2 Pro? Well, check this video out right here, where I take a look at what could be Creality's best Ender 3 they've ever built.